Hi, I'm Jonathan Burhan and welcome to this lesson in FL Studio. What we're going to be doing here is creating different chords in FL Studio. You see, you don't need to need uh, you don't need to know any theory in this lesson to know how to create a chord progression. FL Studio already has a bunch of built-in features that you can already use. So, let me get this started by showing you exactly what we're doing here. I'm going to show you each part individually so you have a visual idea of how we're putting this together. I'll play back this, first of all, this instrument. That is our pad. This is our art. This is our saw pad. Let's play these back all together. And there you go. So to create chords, how do you do it? What do you need to know? almost nothing. See, I'm going to go ahead and delete all of this. Every bit of it. Don't need it. Because we're going to be doing this ourselves. This is easy. So, it depends on what view you like. I prefer this view, or this, oops, or this. But, um, just select the one you're most easier familiar with. Um, so, what you have to do is to start your chords, this is how we've done it. Go to chord here, select a major chord. Let's get started. So what we're doing is selecting root notes that we like the sound of. Now this needs to change, we need to change this to a minor, like so. That part has been taken care of. Very easy to do. Going down to our ARP, because we already have an ARP set up there. Very simple to do, to exit chord mode. Shift N. Duplicate it, and one octave up. That simple. Starting off from as you can see, we already have ghosting on, so we already have a base of where our notes should be. And we're just going to follow the top note. Let's have a listen to this. Awesome. Send this down. Two, uh, yeah, two octaves. Copy that. Paste it here. Down one octave. Play this whole thing back. See, you you can build on this just by following ghosting. Really simple. And guess what? can build on it further just by following these notes but we're going to leave that as is for now and play this back so we've created a nice progression using a few instruments a simple arp and that's it again just the pads So using FL Studio's built-in features, you can start creating chords from scratch using major or minor chords from their chord options here. And there you go. And once you have that there and you have ghosting on, you can start building around them 
and it becomes very easy to create alternative chords or more wider chords if you would call it that like this is more wide there's more notes more octaves it's, it's more you know more going on and you see you can really really just experiment and that is that is the best way I can explain how to make chords without knowing any theory at all by just building on what you already have again as this is, a, is EDM and this is trance and stuff like that you don't always need to have theory or know much theory so that's all I wanted to talk about this lesson a quick and easy way to create chords and I hope it helps someone and thanks for watching